In this video, we'll share some of the things we learned the hard way and we'll answer some questions that creators ask us again and again and that we wished someone answered us when we started working with brands. Get everything in writing and this starts with the quote. If you agree on a price upfront in a call or in a meeting, Having everything in writing really helps you in that situation. You should define the timing in writing as well. So agree on deliverables and deadlines up front. Manage expectations. Don't expect something that you can't deliver. It's gonna bite you eventually. Make sure that everyone involved is on the same page and has a realistic view of what to expect of the final video. Communicating more here is always better. And for those clients who keep asking for more and more, we have a cheat code that you can use. We call it the yes, but formula. Yes, we can hire 20 extras for this dance routine, but it is gonna cost you more and we'll have to push back the video for a couple of weeks. Before you start to shoot the video, make sure you talk to the brand about as many eventualities as possible. Communication is the key. For example, define the number of feedback loops. With that, you're protecting yourself from unnecessary work that you're not being paid for, and no one wants that. And if you have a script or a treatment, just let the brand sign it off before you shoot the video, not afterwards. Sometimes a brand might ask you about exclusivity. That means they want you to only work with them and not their competitors. On the pro side, it limits the amount of brands you work with and you don't come across as a sellout. Your audience really trusts you that you like the brand. But on the con side, you need to turn down other offers, which means you're losing money. And that money should be paid by the brand you work exclusively with. There is no traffic on the extra mile. Be passionate and professional but that much is pretty much expected of you. Always plan ahead for a little extra. Think of what else you can do that was not part of the deal. Maybe you can post a story about the collaboration or you can shoot some behind the scenes footage that you can post on the community tab. Always be remembered as the creator who went the extra mile, who was great to work with and who was just passionate about the project. You are the face of your channel. You are the voice of the channel. It's your channel, so be aware that you can't just upload anything a brand wants you to upload. Sometimes brands tend to want to do that. So don't give up all of your creative control. It's your channel, it's your decision what you want to upload. And no brand can tell you what you can upload and what you can't. And just be aware that you are being made responsible for what you upload and not the brand. Sadly, this was the last one, but there are many more videos on the Creator channel covering various topics that creators like you and us are interested in. So check them out and subscribe to the channel. <laughs>